Downen from the Keene State College Department of Biology and I'm going to be showing you how to make a heat fix slide for the purposes of microscopy. I'll be showing you this beginning with two different types of samples, both of which you will use in your lab activity. First I'm going to show you how to uh, collect the sample from your mouth for some mouth cell microscopy. You start by labeling a glass slide and then you put a drop of water on the glass side. Just slide, just a little bit. Then you take a toothpick and you actually scrape along the gum line of your mouth and mix the sample in, using the toothpick to spread the sample across the slide to the extent possible so that it doesn't take too long to dry. put gloves on because I'm handling a live bacterial culture. I'm going to take the other slide which I've labeled culture. I'm going to take a new transfer pipette, collect a very small amount of a bacterial culture fluid, a liquid culture, and put a small drop of that in the center of this slide. I'm then going to use the tip of the pipette to pull that culture and smear it as wide as I can so that this dries quickly and so the cells are dispersed and throw this into the waste container. These are now ready to dry. So I'm going to put them on the slide warmer. This device here. Where I'll leave them for a few minutes until they are completely dry. At this stage, it's very important that the slide is completely dry before you heat fix it so that you do not create any potentially dangerous aerosols which would result in you being exposed to a live microbe. So once you've checked by eye to be sure that the slide is completely dry and you know it's dry, then you go ahead and heat fix. So I've checked and I'm gonna go ahead and heat fix. I take a slide, take a dry slide, and put it in the clothespin style holders so you don't burn your hand. And you heat fix using the Bunsen burner. The cells are on the top. You heat fix by passing back and forth through the flame two or three times relatively quickly. One, two, and three. That slide is very hot now, so you set it down on the bench to cool for a few minutes. When it is completely cool, you take the slide and place it in the slide staining tray and proceed to the next step, whatever kind of stain you wish to apply, that's what you go on to. A crystal violet stain is really simple. You take crystal violet stain and you soak the slide in it. So you want to apply it very generously, basically cooling the stain on the slide. As soon as you've covered the slide, you have time for 60 seconds. 60 seconds have gone by. You take the slide, tilt it, and gently wash from the top with deionized water until the water coming off the slide runs clear as shown. You've now got a stained but wet slide. Set it down on a paper towel and you can very gently wick and blot with a Kim White. You don't want to rub the Kim White because then you'll rub your stained cells off. Just gently do a little bit of wicking and then you're ready to take your slide and take a look at it through the microscope.